everybody and welcome back to the ARC Audio technical training series on the PS8 and the PS8 software user interface. This is episode 10 and we're going to cover how the preset functions work in the new version of the PS8 software. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is come down and open up the software. <clears throat> and we're going to come on up to meters and open up our meters as always. And now we're going to focus down here in the bottom right hand corner. This is our preset panel. Now when the software starts up, it will automatically load from the last known position. So if you closed your software and turned off your PS8, uh, last being on preset one, when you start your software, it will show you uh, the last known settings on preset one. There's no more sync to or sync from. But let's say if you want to select preset two, well, let's see select. Here's the button for preset one, and now here's the button for preset two. You can simply come over and click on it, and it will automatically load your preset settings for preset two. Now, the thing to remember here is sometimes when you're tuning your system, you want to copy things over. So let's say that you've just got done tuning preset two, and you want to copy to preset three. So here's preset two, and down here it says copy current settings to profile 2. Well, you're already on profile, profile 2, but let's say you want to take profile 2 and copy it to profile 3. You come over here and click on copy current settings to profile 3. You click it, are you sure? Press OK, and give it a couple seconds, and it will transfer all of your settings from profile 2 <clears throat> over to profile 3, and that's it. It's really easy to use and an extremely simplified process over the previous version. So that's it. Good luck and good tuning. We'll see you in the future episodes.